Okay, so good. We're ready to graduate to the right hand. <laughs> now, this is where I have a little rule that I call the carpet rule. It's just something I made up because it makes sense to me. So, the basic rule of thumb, or rule of fingers, of the flute is that if you have any So the basic rule of thumb is if you have any um, <clears throat> hole open on the flute, any of the holes open, that the hole below it must also be open. If you, there's another way of saying this, if you cover any of the holes, the hole above it must also be covered. <laughs> so if you have open holes, um, like if this this uh, E note is open, this third hole down, second hole down, is open, then all these other holes have to be open. I cannot have this hole on the top open and these holes covered. And I'll show you the difference. If I open the E, well, if I close the E, That's fine, but if I have these holes down here covered, doesn't work. So, moving from the bottom of the flute up, I have to uncover the holes in order. And I call this the carpet rule because it's like if you're rolling up a carpet. You're going to uncover from the bottom up, and if you're placing your fingers down, you've got to start at the top and move down. Now it doesn't, move, it doesn't mean you have to cover each hole in sequence because later on we're going to do leaps um, instead of stepwise movement and that means you can, you can cover all the holes at once but you still have to cover every hole um, you can't leave a hole in the middle uncovered <laughs> does that make sense? Mm -hmm. so we have three different ways of saying it so anytime you have a hole uncovered the holes below it have to be uncovered Anytime you're covering a hole, you have to have the holes above it covered. And um, you just can't have holes in the middle of the flute being uncovered, right? You just can't leave the bottom fingers down and uncover the top fingers because it doesn't work that way. So for now, we're going to cover the holes from the top down. So we just worked with the top two notes, right? Or top three notes. Two fingers, three notes. So let's move, and that's the left hand, let's move to the right hand. We're just going to focus on the right hand. So leave all of the fingers down on the left hand and just leave them. We're not going to think about it. We're just going to focus on the right hand. Now the right hand has three holes, so that makes four notes because we can have them all open or one covered, two covered, three covered, so that makes four notes. And the first note, the note that we have when it's open, when all these are open, is an E. Which is, which is the low part of where we just left off. It's, the, it's the, where we just finished. So let's go with our index finger, ready to cover the top hole. And we're gonna go one at a time down. It's just like we did at the top, we started with the index finger. So we're gonna get our index finger of our right hand ready. Left hand is covering, right? So don't move your left hand. And we're gonna start here.
excellent. So if you're getting any kind of overtone or overblowing, it means you might be blowing too hard. So blow a little bit softer. And sometimes the flutes get a little bit of condensation buildup. So actually let's pause for a second and I'm gonna show you how to empty that out. Because the flute, because your breath is warm and it's got a lot of uh, moisture in it, yeah, you get this condensation buildup inside the bird area and it causes the flute to get those little high squeaky sounds or it can also cause it to sort of lose its voice it, it's almost like it like the tone just vanishes so it's easy to fix what we're going to do is blow it blow it out of the um the bird area up here this is also called the flu but that's the hole that's the flu so we need to get the condensation out from underneath the bird so what we're going to do is take an index finger and cover part of the opening, the flute, that's the little hole. Just cover part of it, not the whole thing. And then you're gonna blow kind of hard. <coughs> and you might notice like a little drop of water comes out or something. Maybe. You just kind of blow it. Try to force anything in there that's um, out. <coughs> that's cloudy? Yeah. Yeah, that's just condensation. That's yeah. not going to affect the sound too much. Okay. Oh, it's just the one down. It's just in the flute, yeah. <coughs> so, yeah, if, if it's over, if you're getting those high squeaky sounds, it means you're probably blowing too hard, so just blow softer. The low notes, like the lowest note, you actually have to blow softer than the other ones. The higher the notes, the louder you can blow. But it doesn't matter on any flute. If, like, for example, if, I, if I'm playing... If I can, I can play the low note, but if I blow harder, it's going to jump up. So, I'm very, blowing very gently. If I blow harder, so, yeah, you can find where that break is. So just gentle, especially at the low. So let's pick up where we left off. We're, we're playing the bottom three, bottom three notes, bottom three holes. We'll start open.
beautiful. <laughs> it sounds great, you guys.